What do you think? Good. Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, April 26, 2018. I'm headed into work for the day. And uh, it's going to be another sunshiny day today. Really excited about that. Uh, it finally appears that spring is potentially here. We've got some grass that's being, uh, that's finally green. I saw some people cutting grass. I'm going to be doing some of that action on Saturday. And yeah, we're getting there. So, finally. <laughs> we had like snow last week. So, this is uh, awesome. Really excited. Uh, last night went well. We watched uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. And um, I don't want to say that I wasn't impressed. I just, uh, the ending was, was fucking horrible. When she, like, told him to beat her or whatever. Yeah, that kind of killed it for me. I was digging everything up until then, but that part, wow. And then they ended it like that. Um, but I, I don't know, I guess I could see how people were into that movie, but I don't know. Whatever. I mean, I guess when I was married, that was probably, like, risque, but... <laughs> uh, no comments. Um, okay, so today I am running to my storage locker. I'm going to drop a couple things off. And then headed to work. I'd like to get a hair, uh, car wash today. I almost said haircut. Crypto seems to be holding pretty steady... Uh, my portfolio is somewhere around 8300 And not bad. Not bad. Um, I don't know. I might just... Maybe I should just consolidate everything into, like, one coin. And then just trade that. So that way when, you know, 9, 10 grand goes up or, up and down 10%, that's making $1,000 every single time that moves. But we're going to see. Um, probably won't do that. I don't have time for that. Um, don't really have much on the agenda for today. Tonight, going over by Lukey Doodle's house, and we're gonna uh, edit. Um, that's about it. Yeah, that's that's all that's going on. So I don't have Grant tonight, and then tomorrow I get Grant for the weekend. Yeah, the weekend, weekend. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the words. Um, not really much planned for the weekend. We're going to probably do... Um, I don't even know where the lines are for the road here. But we're going to do... Uh, bonfire on Friday, Saturday, Rochelle and Logan, they're gonna go hang out with some other, one of her friends that moved away, one of her friends and her kid, and then Sunday we'll probably, uh, hang out again after Grant's baseball game, so Sunday evening, I suppose, so that should be fun, it'll be a lot of fun, really excited, Grant's got two games this weekend, they're kind of later, but I guess maybe that's not, not a bad thing. Especially if we're going to be over by their house uh, Friday night, a little bit later. And I don't know, we'll see. Maybe Saturday, I just kind of had a, uh, an idea. i got to check the weather. But if it's warm enough, maybe Saturday we'll, uh, we being Grant and I, set up the tent and all that type of stuff in the backyard. Hmm, we'll see. Yeah, that might be fun. Um, just kind of do a little camp out in the back or something. But uh, weather permitting, I don't know. Plus, Grandma and Grandpa are going to be home and stuff, so that might be a little weird. But I do want to, or I have been wanting to go through all my camping gear and kind of, you know, make sure I got everything that I need, make sure, like, my stuff that I still have is good. Uh, those mattresses, I got a ton of blow-up mattresses, but, like, I don't even know where the sheets are or any of that shit anymore, so, Wow. Wow, I was just supposed to turn into my storage locker right there. Well, 
well, Bill. <laughs> um, a little bit tired. Michelle and I both didn't sleep well last night, and not in a good way. So that's it. That's kind of what's going on for the weekend. I'm excited we're going to Cali, dude. I've been wanting to go to Cali almost my entire life. So that's going to be fun. I might not want to come back. <clears throat> so I guess that's it. I'll cut this short. And, man, so I mentioned this probably last week, but I've been getting gas every Friday. And today's Thursday. But, like, look at this. I have almost a half a tank of gas left. 244 mile range and, and you know it's not even Friday so as of tomorrow I'll have been driving for a week so if we look at the stats uh, I've driven 348 miles on this tank so I'm getting about 600 miles on one tank of gas that's amazing that's almost three of my other tanks that's crazy so <clears throat> definitely saving some money like I I noticed like I was running out of money like a week ago or last week I should say um, running out of money from Audi standards and then I realized like my bank balance hasn't changed much in that week I got gas once and it was like 20 25 bucks so normally you know when I like only have like three four hundred dollars worth of uh, money back in my checking account I start getting a little nervous, you know, because I know, like, you know, gas for another week is going to be like a hundred bucks, and it's crazy, dude. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, it's good. It's really good. Yesterday, I bought in 50% of my 401k into my company stock. Um, yeah, it, it went down a couple days in a row. It's really high. That's why I didn't put in 100%. So if it goes down more, I'll buy more or buy in more. We'll see. So um, all-time high. I don't really like trading that when it's up that high, but you know I got to make some money. I got to. It's been like almost a month since I've been trading, so I think it's time. Um, what happened was the, the the stock went up like quite a bit, like three four bucks. I sold out, sold off, and then the day after I sold. Not even getting Bill Gates bought in. I don't know. Like, I, I, he bought a lot of fucking shares in my company. And I think he even did multiple buys. So, just, it's, well, I don't know. It seems like just him getting on board made it go up like another, like, $15 or something like that. Which was huge. That was like fucking 10% or something. Just unheard of. And I was out. So, whatever. Stay tuned for more, guys. What's going on, everybody? Just getting out of work for the day. And uh, over lunch break, I was able to get first pass done on the wedding that we just shot. And uh, which way do you want to go, dude? No turn signal. All right. Got the uh, first pass done for the wedding over my lunch break, <clears throat> and that kind of freed up our evening tonight. So I'm gonna go over by Lukey Doodles, and I think we're gonna try to go boating on his brand new boat. I've yet to go out on it, and I'm really excited to check this bad baby out. It's got a pretty badass boat. It's called a Mud Buddy, and uh, yeah. So stay tuned for more. All right, today's episode of Cooking <laughs> with Luke. Well, I think there's enough butter. You got yourself a bona fide grease fire there. Wow. I actually think they're not bad, bro. There's a little char. It's alright. It'll be good. How's the house? <laughs> you have to move the grill out. Ooh, that one's a little done, though. Dude, I've never seen flames come out of the it's, grill like that. Look at this. the bottom of my grill. That's the whole reason, bro. Oh, my. Never been cleaned before. Oh, does that add extra flavor? 
Master Chef Luke here. Can you go get that cheese? <laughs> All right, little sunset. All right, thanks, Ryan. Here we are behind the scenes. I was just doing a cinematic zoom in on Mud Buddy's logo here. Uh, Luke's really nervous here. It's our first time going you out in his stretch, boat. Bro? Yeah, what do I gotta do? Just no this time. one here? Yeah. Come on it. Oh. Okay. You're gonna clip it on there? No, what am I clipping it on? In the back of the boat. Here, bro. I got it. Alright, here's the boat launch. Here's the truck and the man and the myth. Let's see if he backs his trailer in with the windows up. Oh, he's he's good. He's good. All right, here we go. Look at this bad boy. This is a uh, 30 foot mud buddy. Hey. Nice. Well done. Alright, we got fucking Rambo over here in his rice paddy boat. This thing is epic. Look at this. This is a beautiful night. Look at this wave he just made. I have no clue how I'm going to get on this boat. He said there's no dock. Can I get like a high speed pass flyby here? High speed flyby on video? I don't think he's gonna do it. I thought that was going to pull the boat over. There you go. He's a little guy. Got him. Got him. Oh. <clears throat> that is a healthy fucking channel though, bro. There you go. Look at, look at how he was hooked, bro. That's it. Right through his little feeler. That is feeler. it. How wow. did he not fucking get off of there? He's not happy. Wow. So is that a uh, largemouth? Is that a largemouth bass? This is a channel catfish. Okay. So when you go to the stores and you order catfish? Yeah, that's what they give you? That's what you're eating. Right, hold on, I'm in selfie mode here. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Smile. Nope. No? All right. You got it. All right, that's it. That's tonight's fishing adventure. <laughs> On this episode of This Old Boat with Luke, we uh, caught one, what was that, an Asian carp? What was that? Uh, no, that was a channel catfish. Catfish, oh, not carp, sorry. Catfish. And uh, we found a nice little quiet spot here. Sun's just starting to go down. Can you uh, pull up the anchor, bro? Yeah, anchor time. Put it in four lock. Uh... Four wheel drive lock. All right. Is it in? Yep. All right, let's go straight ahead. All right, here we go, buddy. Let's turn to the Rodney. All right, here we go. Good? Good. Yeah. 
You said turn to the right? Yep, go to the right. What's going on guys? So that's the end of uh, Thursday here and uh, I'm tired. It's about 9.42 right now and uh, headed home from Luke's house. We got the boat unhooked and uh, kind of a little bit of a funny story but I had accidentally broke the tie down strap for one of his fishing seats. Uh, the, the back of the seat folds forward and then there's like a little lock strap that locks it down when you're driving and stuff. Um, well, I had ripped the strap off from the bottom of the seat versus unclipping it from the top of the seat. I didn't even notice. I just grabbed it and ripped it. So, um, we fixed that when we got back. We also set up his uh, new, or Luke, I, I supervised, but Luke set up his new uh, toolbox for his garage and then uh, yeah that was it so that was a good time that was a really good time we uh, had the talk today and Luke was saying like man dude you know like when I usually hang out with my buddy Ryan this is the kind of stuff that they do they go out on the lake they fish they hang out they you know shoot the shit whatever and he said whenever him and I hang out it's always work we're always editing or doing uh, photo stuff and all that. And uh, I told him, like, yeah, I know, man. You've been talking about that for years. Like, you know, we never just hang out and just just to hang out. It's always work and stuff. So it was really nice. It was really fun. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it was just different. It was cool. Very cool. So perfect day to go out <sighs> on the boat. Luke caught a fish. And, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, basically, I, I just really like his new boat. It's really awesome. It's really nice. It's a similar type of boat, uh, similar to what his dad has. So, like, if you look back in the archives, we had gone out on his dad's boat uh, probably a few times. And, uh, I don't know. I'd have to say Luke's boat's much better. It's got a better engine a lot quieter, even more power, and uh, it's got a lot of uh, other nicer features, like, you know, the, the deck inside of the boat is seems more roomy, and all that, and I kind of like those fishing seats, they're a little janky to sit in, but once you're in them, and whatever, <sighs> not too bad, so as you can tell, I'm tired, it's been a long day, uh, I'm probably not going to get home until after 10, after that, uh, just gonna hang out. I don't even know. I don't really have much time to do anything tonight, so uh, I need to make a backup copy of all these daily vlogs that I rendered, those 22 vlogs that I rendered. Maybe I'll try to get to that tonight. Uh, yeah, it seems like crypto's already taken off for tomorrow. It's already back up. I think my portfolio is up to like 8,800 now. And can't complain. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So I don't know, guys. I, 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 I'm torn. I might just cash everything out to like one Bitcoin, Ether or Bitcoin, and literally just like trade that. So when it goes up 10%, sell it. When it goes down back 10%, buy back in. I don't know. So uh, tomorrow, I mentioned it earlier today, but we're going to be going over probably by Rochelle's for a bonfire. Uh, hanging out with the boys, all that fun stuff. And then we are going to... Saturday we have a baseball game. <sighs> Sunday, another baseball game. And then probably hanging out with Rochelle and Logan Sunday evening. So yeah. Oh, Grant's mom messaged me and she said that he is grounded from um, video games. And also from playing with his friends at her house. So apparently he uh, had some potty accidents or something along those lines. And then he lied about them. And then he, uh, yeah, it, it, I don't know. It was just a thing. So 
I think he needs to uh, have a good potty, good poop in the potty. But until that happens, he's just going to be having these, all these accidents. So, we'll see how it goes. But uh, that's it, guys. I'm done. I'm going to cash in here for the night. And uh, today sh today was a good day, man. This is, the this is exactly why I like doing these vlogs. You guys get to kind of see just how much and how crazy some of my days are. You know, I went from working all day to hanging out to boating. When I woke up this morning, I never thought I'd be on a boat, that's for sure. So, pretty cool. Very cool. So that's it. Stay tuned for more.